from the very beginning that I can first remember, maybe even four or five years old, I remember that I wanted to do something for God. And of course, as an adult, I realized that really what I wanted was just um, for God to love me, but I felt like ministry was the way that God was going to love me. Ten years ago, I planted a church in Nashville called The Anchor. The purpose for the church plant was to find a way to disciple and mentor and train and encourage musicians and artists that lived in the city. Sort of the beautiful dynamic for the last uh, 10 years has been just a group of people who are working together to figure it out and to figure out how to lead. So part of that's been uh, sort of making mistakes and having some successes and having places of celebration and having places of mourning together. Probably the greatest lesson of my life in this moment is the fact that as a minister of the gospel, we cannot give anyone anything unless it comes out of an overflow of relationship with God. If I want to effectively bring change to people's lives, then I must have God fill me up with love and uh, with acceptance and with affirmation and with courage and with uh, fresh vision and passion. And then when that is filled up, it overflows on people around me. That is effective ministry. And every time I slip into the old model, which is to just do what is right because it makes God happy, then I lose love and I lose connection. And sometimes God, are, God still heals people and there's still great uh, fruit from the ministry, but inside I don't get life. I would say that that has been the biggest lesson learned in the last uh, few years of ministry is less I'm filled with God's presence and love than I have nothing to give to anyone.